All right, I want to thank you for purchasing one of my now playing displays. This video is about the installation of it. This video will work for any of the now playing displays. Now the file names may be different, but the setup is exactly the same. What's required to use this in order to use any of the players or um, any of the little Sam web appli applications that I create, you need to have your own web hosting account. Um, if you're using a free hosting account, such as Wix, Weebly, or Blogger, you can't really use those because you need somewhere for Sam to house the album images. You need somewhere for Sam to also uh, update what's being played. And you need somewhere to host the now playing or the player media players that I have on the site. All right. If you do have your own hosting account, you need to log into your C panel or whatever type of control panel they have for your hosting account. And what you want to do is you want to create a folder um, on your hosting account. You can give that folder whatever name that you want. This is the folder that Sam is going to send everything to the pictures, the now playing display, any media player updates. All of this stuff is going to go into that one folder. Doing it this way protects your website. Um, it, it also protects um, any other websites that you may have or your hosting account. After you create that folder in your control panel, you want to go and create an FTP account just for that folder that you just created. That FTP information, you're going to set that up inside of Sam Broadcasters in the HTML output. Um, at the bottom of that page, and we're going to show you that there's a place to put the inf FTP information. And after you've created the folder and created an FTP account for that folder, you're going to use that FTP information. You're going to put that information into Sam so that Sam can now send information to that folder. Once that is working properly, you will then be able to iframe the player or the now playing display onto the page of your site. Please remember in this video, the file names may be different depending on which now playing display you have. However, the setup is exactly the same. Let's look at how to install the 490 by 215 now playing display. I've downloaded it and now I'm going to extract it. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to extract the files. It's going to create a folder if you're using this. I don't know which brand of extractor you're using, but it's going to create a folder. And now I'm going to go into that folder and into that folder are all of the files I need. In this folder for this particular now playing display, and it's probably going to be the same for the other ones. You're going to have, you're going to have an HTML file and you're going to have a folder an images folder. Using FTP software, you're going to you're going to need to log into that folder and upload this into that folder. I have another video that shows you how to set up the FTP, so I'm not going to get into that. Then you have this other folder that says put this content into Sam HTML web. Now, you're not going to put the folder. You're going to go into the folder and you're going to grab these files and you're going to put those files in there. So let's do that now. I'm going to grab these files and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy because I want to copy these files. In Sam Broadcaster, I'm going to click on tools, jump to and data path. When that comes up, you're going to see Sam HTML web folder. Double click on that folder to go into that folder. Now that you're into that folder, I'm going to right click anywhere in the white space and I'm going to paste those four files that we just copied. Okay. Then I'm going to come back over here to Sam and I'm going to click on config. When config comes up, I'm going to click on HTML output. 
and at the top section where it says general HTML output, if you notice, you may have some other things in there. If I double click on any of these, if I double click on any of these, it's going to give me the hard drive location of where these files are located. So what I want to do is I'm going to right click where it says input file and I'm going to say select all. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to cancel that. Then I'm going to click on the plus sign next to general HTML output. I want to make sure file is selected, not HTML, not PowerScript, but file. And right here where it says input file, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste what I just copied. Now I'm, I'm only doing that so that when I click on this folder right here, it's going to take me where I need to go. Now we had four files. We had this underscore 172 by 172 and this underscore 280 by 158. So I'm just going to grab the first one. If I grab the 172 by 72 as my input file, I also have to grab the one that does not have an underscore as my output file. So here's the one that does not have an underscore. That's my output file. Then make sure auto upload generated is checked and click OK. This file has two other files, so I need to go and get those as well. So I'm going to click the plus sign again. By this time, Sam remembers where I, where the location is. So all I have to do is click the folder. Now I'm going to grab this underscore 282 by 158 song info as my input. And as my output, I'm going to grab the song, same. I'm going to grab the same file without the underscore. This one here. And click OK. Now you need to make sure auto generate is turned on. You can set this value as high as you want. Basically, I don't want it. Uh, I don't want Sam to send commercials and um, promos. I don't want it to generate information when those play. So I have that set at 61 seconds. Um, remember the FTP information we talked about? You're going to put that in here. You're going to put the host, the username that you created, the password that you created for that FTP user. And right here where it says remote web directory, you can leave that blank. But right here where it says remote picture directory, you want to make sure you put forward slash pictures. Okay. And click OK. Now to test this, you can bring up the FTP log. Okay. And you can go up here to tools, HTML output, click generate. And you're going to see a bunch of information. You can read through this and it will tell you whether or not you success successfully connected to your host. Now, another thing you may want to do is that you want to go to tools, jump to the data path. And go back over here to the Sam HTML web folder and look for an underscore config HTML. Let's open that up. Right here where it says Val picture directory, you want to put in your domain. Whatever it is, whatever your domain is, dot net, dot com. You want to put in the folder that you created. Okay. Forward slash pictures, forward slash. You want to put that right here in this section. And that's all you have to do in Sam. If this is your first time setting up any type of uh, display, you need to send the album covers to the website. And the way you do that is you click on tools, HTML output, 
you will click on upload all pictures. I recommend doing this in the wee hours of the night because this could take 15, 20 minutes, depending on how many pictures you have. That's how you get the album covers up onto the website so that the web scripts will um, be able to pull the right album. Again, before you do this, you want to make sure the FTP is properly working. All right, now for the sake of time, I wanted to show you how to iframe this. This is the name of the file that you want to iframe. Okay. I'm going to create a, for sake of time, I'm going to create a fake website page to represent your WordPress or um, your website. Let's make it HTML. Let's grab this. All right. So if this was your web page and you wanted to iframe this into the web page, the code for that is iframe, the iframe code, the source equals. And in this case, because this is in the same directory, I can ac I can access it directly. Now I want to set my width. Make sure I get that. I want to set my width to equal that 490. I want my height to equal 215. I don't like frame borders, so I set it to zero and I want to set my margin height to zero and my margin width to zero. I don't want the scroll bars to show up. So scrolling will equal none or no, I think it is. Then I'm going to close that. And I'll put um, just a word in here. I'll just put no frames. And then I'm gonna completely close the iframe. And that's all it takes to embed it onto your website. Now, you, you, you're probably gonna wanna have to do this. www that whatever your domain is, forward slash whatever that FTP folder is that you created, forward slash. That's what you're gonna wanna do to iframe this onto the page that you want it to be on. Hope this has helped.